Oh no, she's turning into a vampire. Well, that is the absolute worst place to get a screenshot. In the bathroom. I can't get a screenshot for it. I missed it anyway, but still, even if I hadn't missed it, how can you get a screenshot of that? <laughs> Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get all the skills, complete all the aspirations, get top level in every career, get all the degrees and everything else we can do for a single sim. Sorry, Carla, I know I hate that emotional meltdown. I didn't really want that as a fame quirk, but unfortunately it happened when I wasn't paying attention. So what we really need to finish is this live fast aspiration. Unfortunately, we haven't been getting the call to sneak out to a party. And I think it's because she knows way too many people. And all of the teenagers keep aging up into young adults. So what I might do is go ahead and start the vampire aspirations because vampires have the ability to reset a relationship and that way maybe we can get rid of all the people that are not teenagers i know that's a little harsh but unfortunately the game just will not give me that invite to a party i never get invites from teens to go hang out somewhere where i can click the ground and, and sneak out first i want to find a master vampire so what you can do is set the requirements to a club to traits and pick one of the traits you have and then note the people that show up on the list so these will be the people who are not vampires and then add the vampire trait to the club requirements. And the new people that show up are the vampires. Now we need to figure out who is a master vampire. I know Herbert is not because I actually created him in order to fast forward time. So I want to figure out which of the vampires are the master vampire. And the reason for that is that if you get turned into a vampire by a master vampire, you get a little bit more experience to start out with. And then if you want to make sure that you got the right people, just go back to your club requirements and uncheck vampire. And oh, it looks like Junko is either both a vampire and an overachiever or she's not a vampire. Okay, it looks like these are all the vampires except for the one that I created. And we'll just start a club gathering and we'll try and figure out who is the one that is the master vampire. There's always one in your game because your game will actually add one if there isn't one. Okay, if you go to their about page, it actually will just tell you straight up. This is a prime vampire. She's a prime vampire. And the other ones, actually, it's not telling me all of them. And I'm pretty sure they're all vampires because none of them were staying in the club when I took away the vampire trait. Oh, and they're all using umbrellas. That's another clue. Okay, the reason why it wasn't telling me for the others is because they weren't in the zone at the time. Okay, so they're all here and I have two master vampires. I have Spring and Pania. None of them are grand masters though. I think it's because I don't have Vlad for some reason. He must have been eliminated from my game and I don't remember how or when or why. Well, unfortunately, I had to move him into the smallest starter home because I'm not using cheats. So no free real estate, Vlad. Sorry about that. And I can become instant besties with him. Okay, he does have the ability to turn me into a vampire. For some reason, I could not get the ask to turn to show up. Maybe because I know nothing about vampires yet. I don't know. I'm just going to do it from Vlad's point of view. That's not cheating. Now, while we're waiting to turn into a vampire, we'll just continue doing the horse races and maybe some other things. And we might even do some other aspirations while we're a vampire. But the main thing is we need to not have so many young adult friends. Okay, since today is rebate day, I cannot make it a day off work in school. So we're just going to take a day off from school only. Cleopatra is now an elder, so we have three elder horses. 
Oh, Jelly Bean is getting on in years. So I've had Jelly Bean for a long time. I'm surprised that he hasn't been turned into an elder before the horses. Something I just realized is that once I become a vampire, I'm not going to be able to come out here with the animals during the day. So maybe I'll try to hire a ranch hand. I haven't had the ranch hand work very well in the past, so that may be a problem. Oh, Muffin is now an elder, so we have two elder dogs. Oh no, she's turning into a vampire. Well, that is the absolute worst place to get a screenshot. In the bathroom. I can't get a screenshot for it. I missed it anyway, but still, even if I hadn't missed it, how can you get a screenshot of that? <laughs> Okay, I think the first order of business is a makeover. Ah, why? Well, this might be a problem. I've already read the vampire books. I'm not sure why. I forget why. But um, Carla cannot finish reading Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 1. And if I just cancel it, it won't count as being read. Okay, there. It made her stop reading it because she had to go to school. Well, that is a way around things, I guess. Question of price. A customer asks Carla for some additional information on two different steam cleaners. Carla is familiar with both brands, Dirt Squirter and Soil Sport, and they are pretty identical except for the price. Does she help the customer save money or plug the pricier brand? Let's go with the expensive brand. I'll probably get a performance loss, but I think that one will have more opportunity to get a gain. And we got a promotion which means we don't need to have this career anymore. We're a retail employee. Level three, customer support. So Carla points to the more expensive machine, assuring the customer that there's really no question. Boom, another soil sport sold. Unfortunately, Carla doesn't work on commission, but her manager definitely takes notice of her fine upsell skills. Yeah, small performance gain. That's probably what got us the promotion. Well, at least if it's raining outside, I can care for the animals. Wolfie! Oh, we're losing Wolfie again. Okay, where is he? There she is. Okay, Wolfie is a girl. I always have trouble remembering that. But sadly, Wolfie is no longer with us anymore. Now all of the horses are going to be sad. Come on, Grim, hurry up. This time we're saying goodbye to Wolfie. My cow plant! Okay, I have to keep an eye on this one. We'll just keep the name Little Simsy. Okay, in order to do parts of my aspiration, I need to spar with vampires, and I can only do that if they're other teens. And I need to create vampires as well, so we're going to make our club vampires. And now Carla is a prime vampire. Can't forget to feed the cow plant. Oh no, Jelly Bean is finally being taken away. So we did get Jelly Bean before the horses. I wonder how much longer Caramel has, because unfortunately he's been the one I'm focusing on for all the races. Aw, oh, Grim is so nice to the animals. Tornado is already an adult, wow. All right, unfortunately, I can't turn anyone into a vampire because of my no touching quirk. It interrupts it each time and it doesn't work. So we'll have to do a celebrity cleanse. Okay, that was exactly what it was. Uh, now she's actually turning them into vampires. So next time Carla will have some offspring and we'll make some progress in the vampire aspirations. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.